The first thing you notice about Japanese Ruby Roman grapes is their size. Just one is about four times the size of an average grape. But inspectors look even closer. If the color of these grapes matches categories three or four on this color card, then just one bunch could sell for $90 to $450. But size and color are just two of the characteristics that define these luxury grapes. So what else do inspectors look for? And why are these grapes so expensive? これだけの粒で鮮やかな赤色の品種っていうのはもう世界探してもないのでそのもう圧倒的な特徴これはもうルビロマンだけしかないということでそれも非常にあの価値が高いとin Japanese culture, fruits are considered a luxury and gift item. In fact, Japanese supermarkets often won't sell fruits if they have any blemishes or aren't the right shape. Inspectors like Kazuyoshi Sakurai use very specific criteria to scrutinize each grain, or individual grape, that grows in Kahoku City. え、まず 1つ目には、え、ルビロマの色ということで、え、2つ目には、え、粒の大きさということで、え、1つあたり20g ということですので、約30ml and special superior grapes make up about 10%. Superior bunches can cost between $90 and $140. Special superior grapes are priced at $180 to as high as $450. But there's still one category higher than these two. そして最上級の、え、規格がプレミアムということになりまして、プレミアムに関しましては、え、通常の、え、粒の大きさが1粒約20g というものなんですけども、プレミアムに関してはすべての粒で30gあります。Only one or two bunches a year qualify as premium in Kahoku. Farmers hope to sell one bunch of premium grapes for over $1,000. Two bunches made the cut this year. But in 2019 and 2020, no grapes qualified for the premium category. No matter the grade, though, all Ruby Roman grapes have a uniquely sweet flavor, according to Isu. で、あとすごく特徴的なのが、え、果汁がものすごく多くて、すごくジューシーです。なので、皮を剥いて食べるときに、えっと、もう皮を剥くと汁が、あの、滴り落ちてきて、口に入れたときにもう果汁が飛び
でですね、えー、かざすとですね、えー、その空の割合が、えー、瞬時に数値化されて。Using a program they developed with a private IT company, farmers can then identify how much light they need to add or subtract. だいぶ明るくなりました。The final complicated element for Ruby Roman Grape farmers is temperature. で、あの猛暑の年も多いんですけども、えー、ハウス内がですね、ありもう30度超えてすごく暑いと、えー、綺麗な赤色にならずですね、色が白っぽく、色が進まない。They open the sides and ceilings of the greenhouse to keep it as cool and ventilated as possible. And still, not all the Ruby Roman grapes farmers grow will be up to standard, which is why supply is consistently limited. In 2020, only 25,000 Ruby Roman bunches were up for sale. That's a tiny fraction of the total number of grapes that were for sale in Japan. Which was about 163,000 metric tons in 2020. It wasn't until 2008 that the first Ruby Roman grapes went up for sale. The effort to create them started in 1995 when local grape farmers and Ishikawa's Agricultural Research Center came together to develop a new breed of large red grape. あの何十品種も、えー、品種がいろいろありまして、まあ、そこに赤色の品種、えーまあ、青色の品種いろいろ、えー、混在していたわけですけどもそこの品種の、えー、からですね花粉が、まあ、飛んで、えーまあ、偶然その、えー、交配してですねあの実ができたといったことで、まあ、非常にそこはあのー。ラッキーだったなと、まあ、いろいろ終わってなかったら、えー、ルビーロマンが生まれてなかったということになります。What they ended up with is the most expensive grape in the world. So expensive that in 2020, one bunch of these grapes sold at auction for $12,000. That's about $400 per grape. <音楽>